Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Dr. Aaron De Janeiro and Aaron Ruddy, thank you for joining us this morning to talk about a very important subject. Glad to be here. Dr. De Janeiro, tell us about blood cancer. Tell us what we don't know. Mm. So the blood cancers, uh, uh, Valder, I'll tell you something that I think your listeners and viewers will find surprising. Uh, taken together, the blood cancers, leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, these are the third largest cancer killer in the United States. Uh, these are diseases of the blood, the cancers of the blood. Uh, they affect the blood cells, the bone marrow, the lymph nodes. Um, there's a, a newly diagnosed patient in the United States every three minutes. And there are about a million Americans, over a million Americans, who are currently living with a blood cancer diagnosis. I'd like to talk to you in a minute about the advances and where we're going with this as far as cures for them, but I'd like to hear Erin's story. Erin, if you could give me a synopsis version of your story. Sure. Um, I was diagnosed with chronic myelogenous leukemia, or CML, when I was 23 years old, um, which was about 15 years ago. It was a, a devastating diagnosis, but within days of hearing the words, you have cancer, I found out I could maintain a normal life. And that's because uh, a targeted therapy, a pill, had just been approved by the FDA that I could take that would kill the cancer cells without harming the healthy cells, which meant I didn't lose my hair, I didn't have to spend any time in the hospital, I didn't have to get sick just to get well. Um, and it worked for me. I went into remission quickly, and I've stayed in remission for the last 15 years. I was even able to go off the drug three different times to have my three children. And this drug was developed by uh, with with funds from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So it was sort of a no-brainer for me to get involved with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, to do some of their various campaigns, to raise money, and to give back, and, and hopefully find some of these cures for other patients who haven't been as lucky as I've been. Erin, how's your quality of life today? Um, my quality of life is awesome. I have three little kids, so I'm, I'm running around and I'm tired from them, but uh, the cancer is not, does not affect me at all. Um, I just ran a half marathon last year with Team in Training, which is uh, part of the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. So I would say I'm, I'm healthier and stronger than I've ever been with or without cancer. And, and I'm 38, so I feel pretty good about that. What an awesome testimony. Thank you so much for sharing, Erin. Dr. DiGenetto, let me ask you, is her story normal? Yeah, or is it part of the course? Uh, Valder, we've been making great progress in finding new therapies for the blood cancers, and, and Aaron's a great example of that. Um, in, in our history, we've, uh, we've developed, uh, we've devoted over a billion dollars uh, to fund research to find therapies like the one Aaron uh, is taking. So we've made great progress with many of the blood cancers, but there's still more work to do. There's a, a, another form of leukemia called acute myeloid leukemia, where we don't have good therapies. Uh, the treatment is, is 30 years old and it doesn't work very well. So we're committed, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, you know, we really exist to find new therapies for these diseases and make certain that patients like Aaron have access to those treatments. We're committed to that and we're hoping your, your viewers and your listeners will, um, will join with us and help us raise funds and continue to fund that cutting edge research. That was my next question. I know there are people who are listening who are battling this or their relatives of those or caregivers of those who are battling this. What can they do to to find or a good story like Erin has? Uh, I think it's really important that they get the most up-to-date information about their disease 
and get the best treatment and get to the right, uh, the right physician. So I would recommend very strongly that they visit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society website, lls.org. Even more importantly, if they're a patient, they should, should call us directly because we can help. They should call our Information Resource Center at 800-955-4572. This month is, uh, September seems to be a month of recognitions for cancers, and, and um, as, as you've talked about earlier, as we look to the future, Doctor, if you could leave me with some hope for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, Valder, it's, it's Blood Cancer Awareness Month in September. We're working hard to um, get awareness out um, about these diseases. You know, I would recommend to your viewers and your listeners that they come and visit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society website, uh, learn about these diseases, perhaps participate with us in one of our fundraising events to help fuel that research, and tell a friend, tell a family member about these diseases so we can spread the awareness. I can leave you with lots of hope. Aaron is a living and breathing example of the tremendous advances that we've had. Um, we're on the cusp of more advances like this. Uh, with your help and with the help of your viewers and listeners, we can seal the deal and make it happen. Dr. DeGenero and Erin Ruddy, thank you so very much. And Erin, you have a great story. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you. You're welcome.